Well, Coach, you really didn't give yourself, you guys really didn't, didn't give themselves a, a much of a chance tonight with, you know, falling behind 7 nothing and then fumbling the kickoff. You know, it seemed like before you could even try to get into any kind of rhythm, it was you were down 21 nothing, huh? Well, yeah, it was. And, and uh, you know, we told our kids when you play good teams like this, you can't turn the ball over early. Uh, for some reason, we just didn't seem to be ready to play right off the start. And then, uh, of course, we had the, they score right away and we had the turnover after that, but then injuries just killed us. I mean, we lost our second string quarterback, already our first string quarterback was out last week due to a broken foot. Now we lost our second string quarterback, so we had our JV quarterback in there, and it would just kind of deflate us in our starting tight end and defensive end goes down in the first series in offense, so you know, but the other kids still got to realize, you know, you got to pick things up, you got momentum, but in small schools, as I always say, you're an injury or two away from disaster, and that's what happened the night for But I give a lot, Ryo a lot of credit in their coaching staff. They, they did a great job tonight. How big do you think that losing that fumble on, you know, on you guys are going to get the ball for the first time and you turned it over and, you know, you were down 14 nothing before you even, you know, got a chance on offense. How big do you think losing that fumble was well, for the you outcome? Know, you know, it, it happens. That's part of the game. Uh, I don't know that it was big. I, you know, from that standpoint, momentum obviously had a difference. But, you know, if we're healthy and everybody's playing, I'm not worried about us putting points on the board. And I don't like to, you know, especially in high school football, zero it in on one particular play did it hurt it didn't certainly didn't help so but you know he's a young kid and he's out there trying to do the best job he can you guys had trouble with their counter play mm -hmm. on two particular plays one on that opening drive the other went for a 62 yard touchdown what well, i mean what was it they were doing well on that counter play was it just execution what you know were your guys missing a key on that what happened on those well plays? you know we coached them all up on the counter all week as far as you know cross checking and things like that and for some reason, and I have to look on film, but for some reason our outside linebackers weren't there tonight. I don't know if they were physically, I mean, we're not a physically strong team. We're a, an athletic team, but we're not physically strong. And you start getting two, three guys on, on our kids and, you know, um, we're in trouble. And that's, I think, what happened tonight. And we just read it wrong in some way or another. And like I said, i got to watch film to see where we exactly were, but we weren't where we were supposed to be. You guys play Randolph next week, mm -hmm. correct? How yep. about, you know, how much will... Maybe losing this way tonight and having a week and a big game at Randolph. I mean, that that's going to be a big game for the for the conference, you know, oh. standings, huh? Well, right now we got to get healthy. I mean, we're down to our third string quarterback right now, and I don't know what the status is of Kenny. Um, but you know, it's just another game. I mean, like tonight, you know, we don't talk about conference titles, things like that. We just talk about one game to the next. My biggest concern right now is getting our kids healthy and. Maybe the eagle was bruised a little bit tonight, but um, we got some pretty resilient kids. I think we'll be we'll be fine as the week goes along. Anything else, Coach? Nope. Awesome. Nope. Hey, great game. Good luck.